So Jaden Smith is serving up healthy vegan food for free. Let's discuss. Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com. And if you're new here to the channel, I do a lot of videos around plant-based nutrition, including vegan news, vegan taste tests, recipes, shopping, and more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, if you're not aware of what Jaden Smith has been up to, let's go back a little bit. First, he started an eco-friendly water company called Just, which sells just water. And he also started a company called The Water Box. And what it is, is they build portable water filtration systems. And he's installing them in the city of Flint, Michigan, so residents could actually get clean water. And it processes 10 gallons of water in about a minute, and it's free to the residents. And recently he opened up a mobile food truck called the I Love You Restaurant, which is serving up healthy vegan food to homeless people. Now per his Instagram account, Jaden posted that the I Love You Restaurant is a movement that is all about giving people what they deserve, healthy vegan food for free. When I first heard about the story, it made me feel really good inside because I think it's important to bring healthy vegan food to people who either can afford it or don't have access to it. And this message seems to get lost in a lot of what we see online. And I mentioned food deserts in previous videos, and I think now is a good time to talk about that topic. Now, food deserts are basically parts of the country that don't have access to fresh fruit, vegetables, or other healthful whole food products. And they're usually found in impoverished areas. And this is due to a lack of grocery stores, farmers markets, or other healthy food providers. Now, according to this Newsweek article, in urban areas, the US Department of Agriculture considers a food desert an area with no ready access to a store with fresh and nutritious food options within one mile. And in rural America, a food desert is defined as 10 miles or more from the nearest market. So people living in a food desert have basically little to no access to fresh food. Now I grew up in your average middle-class home. We didn't have a lot of money, but I never knew what it was like not to have access to fresh food. And I think it's easy to take this for granted, especially if we've never lived in a food desert. If I wanted something to eat, I'd walk to the grocery store, but people in food deserts don't have that option. Now this USDA report stated that there are over 23 million people in the United States that live in food deserts, and almost half of them are considered low income families. In addition, 2.3 million or about 2.2% live more than a mile from a supermarket and do not have access to a vehicle. So instead of heading over to a grocery store, people in food deserts will most likely go to a fast food restaurant, a gas station, or a convenience store to pick up some food. And when you take it a step further and look a little deeper, you find that these places often charge more for food than your normal grocery store would. So not only do you have limited access to fresh food, the food you do find usually costs more. So people in low income areas are stuck paying more for food. So the next part of this equation is health. If people don't have access to fresh food, they're most likely eating fast food and processed food, which isn't very nutrient dense and most likely affect their overall health. And as you can see, the same report also stated that limited access to nutritious food and relatively easier access to less nutritious food may be linked to poor diets and ultimately to obesity and diet related diseases. So you can start to see that until someone actually leaves a food desert, it can become a vicious cycle. Now I've mentioned before that I live in Los Angeles and there's a lot of different vegan restaurants, but in addition, there's also a lot of events and festivals that take place. And this is great because it gives people a chance to try food that they may not otherwise have access to. The only downside is some of these events either charge to get in or the price of food can be an issue for some people. Let me give you just a quick example. Some of these events can charge up to $50 per person to get in. So a family of four, you're talking about $200 just to get into the festival. And then by the time you get in, you're probably spending maybe one to $200 on food. So you're left spending three to $400 for the day just on food. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great free events as well. And some of them actually require their vendors to have lower priced options so people can try a few different things while they're there. Now, I realize that these events and these festivals are businesses and they have to make money and I have absolutely no issue with that. It'd just be great to see if we could figure out a way to bring these events and festivals to places that actually need it the most. Now, I realize tackling food deserts is not an easy thing. It can get political, there's a lot of money involved, and it's not an issue that's gonna be solved overnight. So when you see Jane Smith open up a food truck and serve free, healthy, and vegan food to people who need it, you can see the type of impact he's making. And it's great to see somebody in his position 
use that opportunity to help others. And it's something that I look forward to doing with my own platform as well. So let me know in the comments what you think of this video, your thoughts on Jaden Smith's I Love You restaurant food truck, and if you were aware of food deserts. And as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and remember to keep living fit from food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.